Welcome to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. In this video, I will take you through the steps of assigning new secondary private IP address to a VNIC and configuring it in a Linux operating system. You can add a secondary private IP to an instance after it is created. You can add it to either a primary VNIC or a secondary VNIC on the instance. The secondary private IP address must come from the CIDR of the VNIC subnet. You can move a secondary private IP from a VNIC on one instance to a VNIC on another instance if both VNICs belong to the same subnet. Let's log into OCA console. Open the navigation menu and click Compute. Click Instances. Under List Scope, click the name of the instance to open its details page. Under Resources, click Attached VNICs. Click the VNIC that you are interested in. Under Resources, click IPv4 addresses. Click Assign Secondary Private IP Addresses. Please note that Private IP Address is optional. A private IP address would automatically be assigned if one is not provided. After assigning a secondary private IP to a VNIC, you must configure the OS to use it. My compute instance is running with Oracle Linux, so I would follow the documentation for Linux variant. On the instance, run the command shown here. Later, if you want, you can delete the address. The method we follow now would add IP address temporarily and would not persist after a reboot. You can make the configuration persistent through a reboot by adding information to a configuration file. As I'm using Oracle Linux 8 here, I could have used NMCLI to configure the interface for the secondary IP. However, here Network Manager overwrites the configurations after a reboot. So the preferred solution is to add the command at boot time. Let's add the secondary IP address now. We can see that the secondary IP is up now. I have a different instance in the same subnet from where I can test the connectivity to the secondary IP we just added. Let's log into the other instance and check whether ping works for this secondary IP. Ping is successful. For this demo, I'm using the method of adding the same command in etc rc.d rc.local file so that the secondary IP would be persistent across reboot. Now let's remove the address which we previously assigned. Secondary IP address is removed now. Let's check if ping works. We see that there is no response for the ping. I have removed the IP to show that the command we added in rc.local file brings up the secondary IP after reboot. In general, it is not needed to delete as reboot would remove all the temporary configurations made in the system. Let's reboot the system. Now, after the reboot, let's check whether the secondary IP is up. Yes, the secondary IP is up now. Let's check whether ping and SSH works for the secondary IP. Ping is working and SSH connectivity is enabled. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful.